All right, my name is Amanda Hostert, and I'm a senior at Omaha North. One day, I came home from kindergarten, asked my mom to give me a bunch of braids in my hair and clipperettes at the ends, just like the girls at school. At that age, I didn't know I was asking for what wasn't mine. At that age, it was purely admiration, not appropriation. I've learned so much, but I'm not perfect. I could say I'm sorry, but words are empty without action. I feel as though I'm not a good ally. When white people say the N-word, I internalize my protest. I have argued with my family about how an officer tasing someone 12 times is not him doing his job. Yet I always end up holding my tongue. Unlike the police with their guns, I know standing here and telling you all the reasons I'm not racist would be a waste of both of our time. Not being racist doesn't make you better than anyone. It's being a decent human being. I'm sorry cannot make up for my downfalls but I can't ask for guidance. I realize my privilege. The only thing working against me is my womanhood, but I'm a lot closer to that glass ceiling than my colored sisters. I've never had my culture stretched and pulled over all the wrong curves, never had my people gunned down like it's hunting season in the suburbs. The media doesn't portray my race as terrorists, gang members, or violent protesters. A white gunman doesn't deserve a family photo plastered on the news if a black victim gets a mugshot. You see, the media only wants culture when it's convenient. Taco Tuesday on Cinco de Mayo is fine, but once dreamers ask for a chance at the American dream, we need to build a wall. Braids and big lips are high fashion, but once they're on their original owners, it's ghetto. I can deal with white people jokes because it's okay to generalize the privileged majority. For example, our seasoning skills are non-existent. <laughs> Just like reverse racism. Minorities can be prejudiced, not racist. I have struggled with how to be a good ally, how to stand up for people of color without making their struggles seem like my own, because it isn't. Sure, white people can have rough lives, but their lives aren't rough because they're white. All I can do is ask for forgiveness. Use my privilege to push for change and continue learning. Neutrality only helps the oppressor. My mom never braided my hair like I asked, and I'm so glad she didn't. It was never mine to wear. <laughs> <laughs>